Do you eat anywhere, anytime, any place and suffer from gas, cramping, bloating, indigestion, stomach ache? Yes, because 30% of the US population currently survive of antiacids. And if this sounds like it might affect you, then I'd watch the rest of the video guys. Welcome guys to another Born Again. Do you know your body regenerates itself approximately every seven years? Yes, seven years. And you're right in that your body regenerates itself from all the food you eat, all the nutrients you put into it. But what most people overlook in the nutrition industry at the moment is, what does your body actually digest? You can put as many superfoods, in fact, all of the superfoods into you, but if you don't digest them, you food combine them incorrectly, then you might as well be eating the sad diet or the sad American diet. But you see, fruits, vegetables, grains, meats, they all require different environments to be digested optimally. Therefore, each differing digestive process takes a different set amount of time for it to occur in your body. And this brings me nicely onto time sequencing. You see, Water and juices take about 20 to 30 minutes to digest. Fruits, smoothies and soups about 30 to 45 minutes. Beans, grains and starches approximately two to three hours. Meat, fish, poultry, anywhere from three upwards. These are averages, I'm gonna put a link down below because each specific food takes a different amount of time to digest. Have you know actually salmon actually takes about an hour to digest. Pork takes about four to five hours. Chicken, two to three. Although it might not quite appear as common sense. You shouldn't eat one food group until the previous food group you've been digesting from your previous meal has digested fully. This doesn't apply for non-starchy vegetables, which generally mixes well with anything else. But fruit, grains, and meat should be treated separately. If you come to the top half, you'll see all these meals are digested within an hour. And if you look closely, you'll realize these are the highest water containing foods in the whole list. Because actually 20% of the fluid we digest is actually absorbed from our food. Because water in itself is a very important liquid which actually helps digestion by moving all the food down the intestines with the intestines being the key site for nutrients to be taken up by the body and this is done by the blood right which is 90% water content helping your body is the name of the game I mean like you come to starches and they're 40% water content like they almost draw water out of your intestines. You're making your body work over time where your body has to give extra digestive juices to your food for it to be assimilated into you. I've had Crohn's disease and this is a disease of the intestines since I was 10 years old, but I finally cracked diet. I mean, you just gotta wake up and you gotta lube your guts up. Yes, you lube them up. When you're sleeping, you become dehydrated. Your guts become dehydrated. They're not as flexible. They're not as maneuverable. They won't digest as well. Water is key in moving the nutrients from the intestines into the body, as well as getting rid of toxins later in the body. So drinking a lot of water, I have about a litre of brew tea from the night before. I just gobble it when I wake up and I know it makes a difference. I will be cramping up if I miss my water. Juice, I still got my ginger, apple and carrot here. That's actually delicious. I mean, the name of the game is to make healthy food taste good. And if you know it's good for you and it tastes good, then there's no other better way to start the day. Then we get to fruit smoothies and soups. I got pint jugs of lentil soup frozen for the whole week. So I just pop one out. And vegetables likewise, loads of water content, digest really easily. 
Because the funny thing, in our Western society, we tend to just eat these last two, which are really hard to digest, right? And which are really low in water content. No wonder we have problems with digestion, with Crohn's disease, because people forget completely about the top. Then you might think drinking loads of water would be the solution, but actually, during your meal, it can actually flush all the digestive juices away from the food it's digesting. So just try to get it through your food, or just before your meal. Because I'll come to the bottom line, most Westerners don't do this. As a classic, they'll get their bacon, bread, sandwich and wash it down with orange juice for the breakfast. The worst way to start the day. I was having such bad brain fog, such bad malaises, such bad mental comas that like, God, those years gone. But you don't have to do that anymore. Because before I thought I couldn't digest fruit. That's something a lot of people also complain about. That was something I've tried to introduce many a times into my diet, but I'd always be having it in the evening after several heavy meals and be scratching my head afterwards thinking, wow, I got cramps, I got loads of gas, I got my eczema breakout, I don't get it. Because if you break it down, fruit is essentially just water and sugar. This digests really quick. And if you've had a heavy steak in your intestines, which is taking half a day to get down, and then you have all your fruit meal coming down and tries to go down really quickly because it's so easily digestible, and they get stuck trying to get through the heavy meat meal or starchy meal, for instance. But once this happens, the fruit can't digest properly or the meat. So the fruit ferments and the meat putrefies. This creates a lot of toxins, food doesn't get digested as quickly, bad bacteria is fed, and you feel crap. Then if we can vaguely introduce this into our life, that would be amazing. So like having juices just like half an hour before the meal as opposed to after the meal. Having a fruit as opposed to a dessert at the end of the meal. Having it at the beginning of the meal as an appetizer. And waiting two to three hours after your heavy meals before you have any more juice, etc. And finally, just as the Greek philosopher Hippocrates used to say, all diseases start in your digestive system. Stay healthy, stay happy, peace.